Welcome to the K90 Ski Jumping Competition on the Standard Hill at Prajolato. On the in-run, the jumpers often reach a speed of more than 90 kilometers per hour. Particularly if the waxer has done a great job. He took off far too late. Given that, he won't make a good distance on this jump. He can and he must achieve better than that. But it's probably himself who's most disappointed. The pressure may... The next participant is from Canada. Takeoff looked good. No telemark. There'll be further directions. That's a good result for him. He could have been a little better today, but he still achieved a very respectable performance. Very respectable. It's an amazing atmosphere here today. What a fantastic audience. Yeah, it's great to see such fans. Oh, that was a poor takeoff. He must improve his timing. That's too bad. With such a performance, you cannot expect to be placed anywhere today in this field. The next athlete is a Canadian. The speed is great. Very impressive distance. I'd say that was good enough for a medal. Maybe for gold, maybe. Welcome to the downhill competition in Sestriere Borgata. That was an okay start. Not too hot, I'm afraid to say. No! That is truly an amazing intermediate time. Sure is. No! Will he live up to everybody's expectations? We will certainly know very soon. A very good start. You don't get much better than that. Excellent intermediate time. Sure is. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Wow, he's taking the gate with him. Watch out, everybody! Oh, look out! Yes, 
Good time. Very impressive result. Welcome to the 500 meter ladies speed skating at the Turin Oval Lingotto. Speed skating is supposed to have been developed in the Netherlands as early as in the 13th century. That's where the first races were held too. It was only in the 19th century that this sport spread all over Europe. Not a good start. She seems a little weak in this area. Her race is totally out of rhythm. That performance will not be enough for a decent finish position. During the last Winter Games in Salt Lake City, it was the German women and the Dutch men who dominated. Yeah, but I remember that the Americans were also very good. A very good start. The race is a little uneven. You can see that she hasn't found her rhythm yet. A rather mediocre performance if he'd only zoned in more. Speed skating was one of the first disciplines to be taken into the Olympic repertoire. Although in the first Winter Games, only men were allowed to compete. You know, that's right. The ladies had to wait until 1960. That's right. She didn't start well. Yeah, she simply gave time away there. A very erratic race so far. Well off the top speed. That time won't come near to a podium place. Yeah, that's beyond reach, I'd say. The last seconds before the start. Powerful start. Yeah, very good. The race is totally out of rhythm. A convincing performance. She was at a very good race. Welcome to the Super G competition in Sestriere Borgata. Over this last few months, his coach has given him the ultimate preparation for the race of his life. Yeah, a truly great job all around. 
We're about to see if it is enough to get him into the medals, though. A reasonably good start, yes, but you could really make much more of it. Oh, fantastic! If he goes on like this, he'll be a hard man to beat today. No! Yes! Great performance! No! The international fans here are showing a very fair and sporting attitude. There's truly an Olympic atmosphere here at Torino 2006. It couldn't get any better. Absolutely not. Wow, what a start. He really did get off well. Too bad. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Another mistake. You know, he needs to temper that aggression. Oh, straight into the gate. Risking a real fall there. Oh, no, surely not. That was full tilt straight into the safety fence. Welcome to the women's bobsleigh competition at Cezana Perial. The huge number of international fans are creating a fabulously competitive atmosphere. Much too slow. They should avoid things like that. It is just too easy to throw away tenths of a second and a race. Oh! They're far behind already after the intermediate time. It's not surprising. Their race has hardly been smooth. Minor contact with the boards. I suppose they are a little dissatisfied. Yeah, I think so too. They certainly had hoped for more, but with that kind of time, <laughs> no way. It's an amazing atmosphere here today. What a fantastic audience. Yeah, it's great to see such fans. Not impressive speed there at all. Slight contact with the boards. slightly touched. The intermediate time is excellent. Absolutely. A very fast race up to now. And again the boards. That was certainly not good. Extraordinary. An excellent time.
Just the last few preparations. Great performance here. Yes, good time. But if they want to get a goal, they have to improve. The Bob is touching the boards a little roughly. Touches the boards. It's not a major problem. Board slightly touched. Yes, good time. Very impressive result. Last minute preparations, total focus, total concentration. A little slow at the start. What a pity. The intermediate time is nowhere near as good as in the first round. That's a shame. Oh, clearly the intermediate time is much worse than in the first round. The bob touches the boards. It's not a major problem. Slight contact with the boards. A great time! Great time! Whoa! Welcome to the Biathlon in Cesana San Sicario. A good biathlete needs fitness as well as concentration and tactical knowledge. It's an exact combination that makes biathlon such a compelling sport to watch. And the race begins. Convincing speed. Yes, if she has enough reserves later on, she'll have a great race. She's no longer totally fit. Mind you, I think she still has some reserves. Very high speed now. Yes, but it could well be sapping her energy too soon. She may pay dearly for this when it comes to the shooting. 
She seems to be out of breath. This could well cause her some problems in this area. Very good. Fault again. Yes. Hit. One fault. Well, she can live with that. Intermediate time is okay. Yeah. And now we have the second shooting section. And again. No, not like that. Two faults. Now she really has to step it up. It is possible to make up for those penalty seconds, but not easily. Disappointing, particularly for her. Yeah. I'm eager to know whether she will live up to expectations again. There she goes. She's reached a fast speed now. Let's hope her fitness comes into its own. Poor performance. Very poor performance. Good speed now. Hmm, the speed is very high, but I'm afraid she's overdoing it a little. 
which might make it difficult when it comes to the shooting. Yes, you need a really steady, balanced hand for the shooting. And that's impossible when you're out of breath. A great performance. And that's a good one, too. Second miss. Two misses. Now that is costly. Excellent intermediate time. Sure is. And now we have the second shooting section. Fault. And that one's a fault too. Not one hit. It's not often we see something like this at this level. I'm sure that even she cannot explain that bad performance. I simply don't get it either. Welcome to the giant slalom event in Sestriere Kala. Just the last few preparations. Totally missed the start. Indeed, a clean miss. Oh. Missed the gate once again. No, no. In contrast to downhill and Super G, the technical disciplines are held across two rounds. The results of both runs are then added together to give the total time. Well, I'd say she should keep practicing her starts. Yeah, I'll say. That really didn't look good at all. Uh-uh, not at all. She's just staggering. Missed the gate. Good intermediate time. Hmm. Too bad. Fault. And 
Nice. Very nice. That performance will not be enough for a decent finish position. Concentrating very hard before the start, it really is now up to each individual. It's absolutely all or nothing. Well, you rarely see a start as bad as that at this level. I agree with you. You really have to focus at the start, otherwise things like that probably can easily happen, huh? Oh my. She'll have to avoid mistakes like that. I... It seems as though she really does want to run the risk of disqualification. Aggressive strategy, but it rarely pays off. Ugh. Welcome to the luge competition at Chezana Parial. Last minute preparations. Total focus, total concentration. Great! What a great start! And again, he skidded against the boards. That is costly. Touches the boards. Yes, but just ever so slightly. Mm -mm. He very slightly touches the boards. Not a problem. It should hardly cost him any time. A convincing performance. It's an amazing atmosphere here today. What a fantastic audience. Yeah, it's great to see such fans. He starts with such energy. Yes, it definitely gives him the right speed for this race. Touches the boards. Yes, but just ever so slightly. Great performance. What an outstanding performance right to the very end. That really was perfect. Just the last few preparations. Well, that was not too bad. Well, I'm sure he could have done better. No! He very slightly touches the boards. Not a problem. It should hardly cost him any time.
that's an okay intermediate time. Uh, somewhere about average, I'd say. Intermediate time, not quite as good as in the first round. Go. He can and he must achieve better than that. But it's probably himself who's most disappointed. The pressure may have got to him. I think he might just have pushed himself a little too hard today. The Canadian fans are reaching a fevered pitch. What an incredible spectacle. A powerful start. Wow, that's lovely to watch, isn't it? Oh, yes. He touches the boards. Yes, but just ever so slightly. The intermediate time is excellent. Absolutely. A very fast race up to now. Extraordinary. An excellent time. Welcome to the slalom event in Sestriere Arcola. The last seconds before the start. That was an okay start. We've definitely seen better from her. Yeah, we have. She won't like that. The intermediate time is not nearly good enough. Well, she's not come up to expectations. She really has to accelerate hard to make up time in that next section. Gatefall. I... An Olympic medal firmly in her sights as she makes her final race preparations. Hmm, good, good start again. No, not like that. Oh, 
Oh my. She'll have to avoid mistakes like that. appreciate that at all. That was anything but a good performance. I'm disappointed. Me too. Wow, you can see the pressure and tension in her face. She must keep a cool head. Right. That start looked rather good. Hmm, I don't know. It definitely wasn't perfect if you ask me. Mm -mm. Again, such a fault. And that's it. A premature end of this race. What a shame. Welcome to the K120 Ski Jumping Competition on the large hill at Prajalato. For a long time, Norway has been the dominant nation in this discipline at the Olympic Winter Games. In the early years, up until 1952, they always won all of the five gold medals. It was only in 1956 that a Finnish athlete could celebrate an Olympic victory. Wow, wow an excellent result. It will be very hard to beat. He's on absolute top form. Now he needs to put that into medal-winning all-out action. He missed the takeoff. Well, he's not going to achieve anything decent with that one. That's too bad. With such a performance, you cannot expect to be placed anywhere today in this field.